Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and to answer a question that I have and uh, from time to time people will uh, actually ask me these questions. Um, the reserved partition is something that is used by manufacturers very often. And what does that do? Well, basically, often your laptop or new computer they will tell you, you know, if you press F12 or F2 or, you know, whatever F uh, key of uh, your keyboard when you boot, you can access the um, reserve partition install. So usually what that happens is when you actually purchase a PC, today they don't give you any CDs or any DVDs anymore. What they do is they take your hard drive and reserve part of it with the system for the computer you have. So it has a Windows operating system and it has the drivers that came with the machine when you purchased it. Now, at the beginning when you purchase that computer, it's uh, not a bad idea because you can easily, you know, reinstall your system using that reserved partition. But as time goes by, that reserved partition gets old and what happens is that the Windows version you have is very different from the one that is on that partition. So a lot of people ask, well, you know, what should I do with that reserved partition? Should I, uh, can I delete it? So yes, in general, um, you can delete that partition if you wish to have and get that space back. Most of the time, the way I did it and I do it when I want to do it, is when I do a reinstall of Windows. What I do is I will use the reinstall of Windows uh, for a clean install and use the partition tool to remove the partitions and create one big partition for the hard drive. Wherever and whatever you want to do, there's, you know, you can divide your hard drive in different partitions, have a partitions for your documents and stuff like that. That's also another way of some people uh, like to do it because if they reinstall Windows, they know that they can keep all the documents and pictures and stuff in a separate partition that is not going to be affected by a reformat and reinstall of Windows. Whatever way you like to do it, uh, yes, that reserve partition can eventually be removed from your PC. And like I said, I usually use the moment of a clean install to do that with the partition tool. There is a possibility of removing that partition when you are within Windows and working with Windows, but honestly, most of the time I prefer to leave it there as long as I don't need, uh, I don't do a clean install or reinstall of Windows. So if you have an older PC, for example, that partition is becomes useless quite rapidly. You know, some people are on Windows 10 on their PC, but they have a PC that was with Windows 7 when they purchased it or Windows 8 when they purchased it. Well, that reserved partition doesn't update when you update Windows. It stays with the original Windows that came with your PC. So at some point, it really becomes obsolete. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.